Uh, hello, I'm David Israelovitz. I'm one of your county councillors, and I'm here to uh, summarize what happened uh, last night at the December 6, 2022 County Council meeting. Um, we started with a briefing by the Lodgers Tax Advisory Board. This is a special board that we have um, in the county, actually every county has one, where they take um, additional funds from um, hotel stays, an extra 5% is set aside to support uh, tourism and marketing um, expenses. So this board uh, looks at the needs of our community for those types of uh, activities and they alloc uh, they use those funds for that purpose. So they um, looks like we are coming out of the pandemic. Uh, in fact, uh, we are 8% over what uh, fiscal year uh, 2019 was. So it looks like um, the, uh, the county is doing well from uh, hotel uh, occupancy. Uh, the second uh, item, major item was whether to sunset one of our regular boards, the Community Development Advisory Board. This is a board that uh, contributed um, commentary and collected public input regarding uh, Chapter 18, which is our property maintenance, also known as our nuisance code. Um, there was some heated uh, uh, discussion about, uh, about this. Um, on one hand, uh, the proposal was to sunset the board since uh, the prior week we had uh, passed a new version of this uh, code of Chapter 18. So uh, some of us felt that there was uh, really no mission for the board at this point and to um, step back, see how the new code works and then uh, maybe reconstitute the board or a task force or something similar to evaluate the implementation. Um, on the other hand, there were other counselors that felt that the board needed to be uh, um, retained so that, um, and there might be some other uh, uh, missions that the board might be uh, assigned, uh, assigned to do uh, in the meantime. Um, but the motion to sunset the board uh, passed uh, by a vote of five to two. Um, so uh, like any other ordinance, this will take effect uh, 30 days from um, noticing of uh, passage of this ordinance. Uh, the next item was uh, vacancies. Uh, there was a follow-on discussion about uh, whether we should have a specific ordinance regarding vacancies, some kind of registration, so every owner of a vacant property would have to register, uh, pay certain fees depending on how long the vacancy has incurred. Um, there was consensus on the board, on the, the council that uh, this registration was really kind of productive. Um, most of these registration uh, systems are applied to residential vacancies rather than commercial vacancies. And in our case, um, the issue at the time was commercial vacancies rather than residential vacancies. Um, and given all the other progress that's been made in um, restoring to productive use several of our um, commercial properties, the council uh, decided that uh, we should not continue uh, investigating this issue. Um, the last item, major item that was discussed was our state legislative, legislative agenda next year, early next year. Uh, the state legislature will be having their session and every year the county council puts together a set of uh, priorities. Um, one of the issues that was discussed uh, was whether to have an energy and sustainability uh, initiative um, uh, agenda item added to our other list of priorities. Um, so we decided to do that and we added um, uh, support for legislation that would support energy and sustainability initiatives as long as they're consistent with our other county priorities. Um, and finally, we also discussed uh, another uh, legislative priority, which was to look at um, exempting from public, uh, 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 regular public access to uh, detailed utility um, um, records for our residents. Now that we have the new um, 
advanced metering infrastructure that tells us on a very detailed, I believe 15 minute increments, our water and electrical and natural gas usage. Um, the community, uh, several uh, um, uh, citizens have mentioned that they're concerned about invasion of privacy if anyone can go in and see whether um, the house is, uh, uh, is, uh, is empty because it, it's not using um, utilities that might be used at other times. So um, it was a relatively short uh, agenda, but um, there was a lot of uh, interesting discussion. And um, that's my summary of last night's County Council meeting.